What's up guys, I'm Redemption Game. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you on how to make Roblox meshes using Wings 3D. And this is gonna be probably gonna be one of the first tutorial videos on how to do this. Because a lot of you guys like Blender and I do not know how to use Blender. So I, as far as I know, I'm getting used to Wings 3D and that's more I kinda more I am used to. So without further ado, let's get started. First, on Wings 3D, we'll start out with a cube, and then I'm gonna select it all. <coughs> I'm gonna go to the uh, wherever I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make my mesh, so it's gonna take a lot of time. So I'm gonna speed this up if I can. So you're gonna play around with this, and so what I'm currently gonna be making is a table. So this is what I'm gonna be making inside in Wings 3D. It's a little table that can be used in my Wings 3D testing place which is going to be public and I did make a little fire meeting place which is pretty cool and I have to script it for some weird reason <coughs> and you can see <coughs> that all this extruding all this cutting I'm doing so so I'm gonna stop right there and speed it up a bit and you're gonna watch the rest how I model it There's pretty not that much I can tell you. Just make a model that you think that's easy. <coughs> Play with the extrusion options and see what you get. Right now, I am doing final touches to the table. I just speed it up a bit <coughs> so it can catch up. <coughs> so, normally this video will be, normally this wouldn't take you five minutes or something to get this done, but this will take you two minutes or to an hour, depending how familiar you are with Wings 3D. But most of you guys, for sure, if you're professionals, you like to use Blender or something like that sort of kind. But Blender is more of a choice, but I like Wings 3D too. It's also a choice, but you can see what I'm doing. Um, <coughs> after this, you would want to um, go to your Roblox page after you exported the file to export in Wings. It's the same thing you do in Blender. Just to click File export and find the wavefront option that's why i normally click on um you can also choose fbx as another file that roblox studio also reads because any other file can only do fbx or obj if you choose any other file roblox studio is not gonna read it <coughs> so we're gonna get to that in a second on roblox studio you will insert a mesh part so that was me trying to insert a part, but you normally want to get a mesh part. <coughs> so go get a mesh part <coughs> by right clicking and finding mesh part. So be somewhere in the context menu. <coughs> so you're going to find a mesh part. That is the part you want to get. <coughs> and let me uh, find that. Okay, there it is. <coughs> you're going to place it anywhere you want. And this is my place where I use any models I did from Wings 3D and put it in Roblox you're gonna <coughs> import it there on the OBJ and there you go guys that's how you pretty much do it now what I do suggest you can change the color of it so it doesn't look bland and boring to you <coughs> you can make a texture or I don't know I just like, I just like changing that color you can see um, so I made like a wooden color, it's I guess, um... So there you go guys, that is how you make a table, <coughs> whatever you like, in Wings 3D, to Roblox. Like any mesh in Roblox, if you are used to Wings 3D and you're not used to Blender, so... There you go guys, that's how you do it, and be sure to... 
Um, like, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm gonna put that right over there on the description for you guys. 